Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asked, Hey, can you help me design something like you see in the background? Friends, of course I can. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so a couple quick reminders. When you visit Tinkercad.com, there will be a link in the description. You can sign in with Google. It's totally free. You do not install. It runs in the browser. You can grab a block and bring it out. You can stretch it, or you can just type numbers. I'm going to click the white box, and I'm going to type the size of 100. I don't know the measurements this user really wanted, so I'm just going to put my own so it's fun and I can get this built. I'm going to choose 2 millimeters thick, and then I'm also going to choose a depth of 40 and press enter. So you can see we have just built this board. To build the second board, I'm going to hit the duplicate button and instead of it being 40 deep, I'm going to tell you that I chose 25. This way it gives it that step look. So once again, I click the white handle and I type 25 and press enter. I could have also just stretched the black handle and then type 25. There are so many ways to do this. It's a lot of fun and you can start building almost instantly. The last one is gonna be 15. So once again, this time I'm gonna use the shortcut, Control D, I'm gonna make the copy. Notice you can just grab and drag and then once again, I'm gonna type the 15 and press enter. So now I've got my three levels, I just need to build the legs they stand on. And once again, I'm going to bring out a brick, I'm going to shrink it, and I'm going to type size 2 for how thick it is. Now friends, this is the project I'm building. Once again, I don't have dimensions, so I'm just going to come as close as I can. This really looks like it's built out of wood, not 3D printed, but hopefully you can use this design to actually make the measurements fit what you're really building. So I'm going to click on this piece right here, and I'm going to stick this leg out 30. I'm going to choose 10 for the height and boom, I have just built this piece right here. Now I want two of these, so I'm gonna do Control D. I'm gonna just nudge this across. If you hold down Shift, it goes 10 times as far. I'm gonna quickly arrange this so I have a little more room to play. If I select both of these, I can pull them out here to the front. And then I'm gonna just do that Shift Nudge to get it where I want. And then watch this, friends. If we click Work Plane and set it up on the edge, click on the largest board and hit D, it will drop to that height. Now I want these two to stay at this distance, so I'm going to group them. I'm gonna hold down shift and click on that large board, click align, and then I want them to align to the center and to the center. This is easier to see if you look at it from this dot. See, there are three choices, back, middle, and center. Boom, we're gonna choose center. Look at that, you have just got the legs underneath just like that. Here's another little bit of trickeration for you. I'm going to put the work plane on top of this board. I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to drop that piece up on top. We need to move this underneath. Remember how this was 30? I'm going to change it to 20. I'm going to put the work plane on top of that piece, and let's click on the middle board and drop it to the right height. Once again, friends, we can grab all of that, choose a line, and then all we have to do is hit center. And that is in place. I do want to put all of those to the back, though. Let's do a line again. And boom, they have dropped in place just like that. Friends, we're going to do this one more time. Work plane on top. Click on that piece. Control D to duplicate. D to drop. Let's shrink it back to 10 or 15. You can adjust these as you see. Once again, when you're using your real numbers, you'll know what you want. Click on the piece that goes on top. Hit D to drop. Friends, once again, with the work plane on top, D to drop. Select your project. Click Align. Click that centerpiece, and boom, you can align it just like that. Friends, that's how easy it is to design in Tinkercad. Once again, I will set the work plane back on the ground so you can take a look at it. Friends, I hope that helps you out a ton. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.